All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And relax and settle in, and let's have a quick chat before we get into the video. Just about cryptocurrency and the way this game works. Because what I've learned in my four years of being in cryptocurrency is that this is one big game, and it can be a very maddening game at that. And one that can really test your patience and everything else that you thought you knew about finance and business. And it really throws all of that out the window. And let me kind of give you guys a quick example and how things in life and experiences you're supposed to be able to learn from and grow from and use those past experiences to get better on future decisions. And I do the same thing in cryptocurrency. And normally that works out very well. But lately it has really been a tough go in this market. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this story. And that is that I should already be a millionaire with cryptocurrency and I'm going to show you why and many of you listening to this should also probably be multi-millionaires from cryptocurrency already the problem is is we suffer from bias and we suffer from not being able to time the market correctly and take the risks in the appropriate ways for example I had received a Uniswap airdrop about a year or so ago from using the Uniswap protocol, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have gotten. And normally when you get airdrops, they don't sustain that price and they usually dump right away. So what I was always taught going back to my early days in crypto is when you get something for free, don't hold on to it, just get rid of it and take advantage of what you have. And normally that usually works out well. However, you have to throw all the things you learned in the past out the window sometimes. Because looking back at it, I took that uni and I sold it for about $1,600. And at the time, it really helped me out. I was able to pay my bills for a month and be able to save some money and pay my bills. And it was great. It was great for that few months. The problem was, is later on, the uni price continued to grow and grow and grow. And if I had just put that uni either held the uni and waited for it to pump more or sold that uni for dogecoin a complete meme coin that absolutely has no use case i would have close to a quarter of a million dollars today but what if i had held that uni token until it pumped around january sold it and got into shiba inu i would be and i'm sure a lot of you guys would be a multi-millionaire at this time and that's just kind of the things I'm looking at, how it really makes no sense. These meme coins, these markets, these swings, they really make no sense at times. Because what I was always taught early on in crypto is invest in things that have a solid use case, a solid technology, and that is a solid product that can actually offer something. And those are the things that I always looked for. But lately, that has absolutely gone to nothing. And you have to really just invest in things that I don't really even know anymore, to be honest. I really do not know. And I wish I had a more open mind a few years ago when all this was going on because I actually had Dogecoin back in 2018. Um, I was holding it in my wallet and what actually what happened was Exodus wallet where I was holding my Dogecoin, they were discontinuing support for Dogecoin wallets. So I was planning on hodling Dogecoin for many years just because it was kind of a fun little meme coin and I did want to just hold some just in case the thing finally moved and so I ended up just having to sell my dogecoin for bitcoin at the time because I couldn't hold it in the exodus wallet I didn't want to hold it on the exchange another kind of fraud thing that I was taught back in the past is don't hold your crypto on exchanges you know always hold it in your wallet yes normally that is the case but actually you can take the risk and hold some cryptos on exchanges sometimes because the, some reputable exchanges like Binance and those type of exchanges, yes, it is a risk. But the thing that you have to remember is if something were to happen to one of those exchanges, crypto would crash anyway. So having it in your wallet really wouldn't do much good anyway if something like a big hack were to happen like a Mt. Gox again. But I think these exchanges have learned from that. And I don't think we're going to see a major type of hack on a big time exchange anytime soon if ever again and so you can feel more confident holding on to an exchange of course you do have to know that there's a risk in that but if you really want to hold a coin and that's the only way you can hold it 
and yeah, go ahead because take the risk. I wish I had just transferred it to Binance or something and held it there. So what I'm getting at with this whole story, guys, is what I learned from that was I got to hold on. I have to hold on for dear life. I cannot sell these coins early. I need to have a long-term vision. I need to see these things through. Don't just take the money and run early on. Let these things play out. So I took that same approach into Binance Smart Chain and been doing extremely well. You guys have been following the channel. We hit on some really good gems early on. I was able to turn about $600 into about a peak at about $40,000 at one point, and it has since done a 50% correction. So now my Binance portfolio that I am using is about at 20,000. So, you know, that's not too bad. That's not it's not horrible. But there again is another example of getting burned by just the market changing on itself because I was in the boat that, oh, I'm never going to cash out of this. I'm going to hold this for at least a year or more. And I'm going to see this thing through because I always think back of, oh, I sold that uni too soon. Oh, I didn't hold on to that Dogecoin. You know, oh, I didn't take a chance on Shiba Inu. You know, that type of thing. And it just, it eats at you. And I'm, I'm, I've been there, guys. I'm sure you guys have been there as well. The problem is, is you can't live in that regret. You cannot live with that type of feeling and that type of always constantly, I should have done this, I should have done that, because you'll just focus on that and you'll actually get more regret and more mistakes. So you have to focus on how am I going to find the next Shiba Inu? How am I going to change my strategy? How am I going to hold on to these coins longer, have a more long-term vision? And you'll get that long-term vision in the market. The problem with that though, is sometimes the market doesn't always go along with that strategy. And, you know, you learn from your past of selling too early. So now you hold on like me and then the market crashes 50% and you're going, man, why didn't I sell the top? And so it's just a constant back and forth. It is really a roller coaster ride. And it's definitely something that you don't want to have too much invested in that you really cannot live properly. And you just, it really is too stressful. You don't want to have that. So treat it like a game, treat it like a gamble. And that's really all you should really treat it as, you know, but once you get to that point where you have a bunch of money, yes, definitely take some profits off the top. It's just, man, I just, I should already be a millionaire. I know tons of you guys listening to this chat should also be multimillionaires as well, but we aren't yet. We will one day, we will get there one day, guys. It will happen and you just have to stay positive. You just have to keep that positive outlook that you will find it, that you will be able to find those next huge home run hits. Keep that in your mind, keep that positivity out there and it will come to you, it will come to you. And I'm hoping to find it as well and share it with you guys on the channel to make that process a little bit easier. So that's what I'm doing here on the channel guys. And so we're gonna talk about what I did with my Binance yield farming and my diversification and different things. But I just want to give you guys that quick backstory of why lately the market's just been completely going against my entire strategy and what I've learned up to this point in crypto. You really have to just kind of throw it all out the window because I can't really explain why some of these coins are pumping, where all this money is coming from and why there certain coins are pumping and certain technologies that actually have great use cases and great things behind them are actually falling it's just you, you can't explain it it really is unexplainable it's just something that you just have to realize it's part of the game it is really part of the game and once you can realize it's part of the game then maybe we can learn how to play the game and that's what i'm really trying to get around and learn so i hope you guys enjoyed that little backstory there i'm sure a lot of you can relate to that story so let's jump into what i'm doing here on the binance smart chain guys what I decided to do let's look at the portfolio over here so in my wallet right now I have about seven grand total of all these different shit coins and you know coins that I'm hodling and some BUSD and so I have that there then I have my stake in Octree this is my largest stake into crypto into the yield farming I am using their oak mining here and if you notice their dex aggregator has gone live as long as well as their swap feature so this is actually really convenient i've been using this a lot like when i want to trade some busd for bnb i can find the best price for that 
and it just makes things so much easier to actually navigate and it's much easier than one inch and they have a little bit more options here than one inch exchange and so you can always find the best price for what you need same with the swap feature this is another really good one and it allows you to again aggregate the best price and eventually there's going to be some arbitrage opportunities and different things that come along with these different features so this is why i'm holding my octree i definitely believe in this project for the long term and this one has been doing extremely well holding up with the binance dump and the octree price has actually held up better than the bnb price if you can believe that and yeah it's just really great to see this so i'm holding on to this i have about 2500 uh in my liquidity here with octree then we move over to doppel doppel price has been doing extremely well hovering around that one dollar one dollar forty range so that one's looking great they switched over to twindex so you have to move your liquidity if you had it in pancake swap remove it and add it to twindex it's very easy to do it's very similar to pancake swap and then you can get some yield farming profits so i'm in this one here doppel to busd so i'm about 1100 or so in here as far as liquidity goes now what i changed since the last video was i did completely remove my panther liquidity originally i had removed 80 percent when i saw this price get down to about 50 cent range that was kind of my stop loss at that point because my liquidity value was depleting much faster than i was earning from the farm so i saw about five grand get wiped out and at that point i just had to pull the plug um because it just it was just too much to deal with and so i actually decided i took about five grand out I actually, actually i had about six grand in there so i took five grand out and then i actually diversified into some long-term holdings to solidify my long-term bags because in the next video that i'm going to share on the channel when i can it's going to be about the one year hodl challenge i have a challenge set up with myself where i'm going to hodl these certain cryptos that i believe could 10 to 100x in a year and so that's what i'm going to do because i've seen coins like i said like doge like telcoin like matic the list goes on and on coins that i knew about years ago and actually had some at the time but i didn't hold on to them and it just it drives me nuts and so i try not to think about it so what i try to think about is finding the next ones what's going to be the next ones because there's always going to be more that's the beauty of crypto is there's always going to be new things and more on the horizon you just have to be able to find it so i've decided to pull my liquidity like i said from panther i'm no longer invested in the panther swap ecosystem here i'm just sticking with octree and doppel finance and then i'm going to be Doing some more gem hunting i do have a signal group a free signal group on telegram for signals and then a vip option you just have to hold 10 of my coin here creative crypto coin it's only going to cost you about four dollars and you can get access to that premium vip telegram where i post all the signals and yeah that's basically what i'm doing guys um expanding i'm trying to really find those next gems because that's really where i should be if, like I said in the opening, if I had just either sold my uni for Doge or waited and then sold my uni for Shiba Inu, I mean, you're talking about multi, multi millions. And that's just something that I can't afford to pass up because I need my life to change and I need this to happen. So I'm really trying to find those things and I'm really hoping to get there one day because it's really it was all right in front of me i just really needed to take advantage of it and really it was a learning experience and it's something that i'm going to use to push forward and you guys should do the same you guys really should do the same don't dwell on things don't use it as a negative use it as a positive and always find the positive because that's where you're going to get more of we're going to get more positive when you find more positives so that's really it guys um still holding these some of these shit coins couple new one that I was looking at was a super moon and one down here called dynamite those two are looking pretty good I didn't make signals on those because those coins have already pumped a ton and for the signals I try to only 
post coins that haven't pumped yet or that are in pre-sale or that are just newly listed. I actually just posted a signal earlier today in my VIP group that is already two or three X'd, I believe, from the price I posted it. Now, I've posted a lot of signals as well in there that haven't done well at all. So we're kind of we're kind of trying to find that next gem as well. But once in a while, you know, I will find another good one. And it just takes one or two. You know, you find a 10 or 20x or even 100x. You know, people with Shiba, I mean, they 10,000 x I mean, they're putting in $100 and making a million in like four months. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's absolutely absurd. That's what I'm hoping to have. Uh, can it happen again? I think it can. I think there's another one out there that will be able to be found out is it going to be a meme coin i don't think it's going to be a meme coin i think there is going to be some more hundred x's you know are we going to see a ten thousand x pro probably not you know to be honest but you never know you know you never really know but a hundred x can really change your life if you know if you really can afford to hodl and so make sure you subscribe to this channel because in the next video i'm going to go over my one year hodl strategy and my portfolio that I am hodling for that one year hodl strategy. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Were you able to become a multimillionaire yet? Or were you able to 1000x, 100x your money yet in this market? Did you buy Dogecoin early? Did you buy Shiba early? Did you hold on to your uni? Did you have a better strategy than I did? Let me know down below. I always like to learn from everybody in this space. And let me know your strategy moving forward with what coins you're targeting or what things you're looking at here in the crypto space. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video wherever you guys are. Until the next time, we'll talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.